Hi, it's Adam back from the Rubik's Cube, and today I have the seventh episode of my Road to Sub 20 series. So today I have uh, quite a few announcements regarding my upload schedule. So let's start off with that stuff and then move into the averages. So I have a new upload schedule if you didn't notice already. And that is that I will be uploading on Sundays and Wednesdays. So if you didn't notice that already, that is my new upload schedule twice a week. So that schedule is working out pretty well so far. I even got an extra video in there that didn't follow the normal schedule, which will happen from time to time. And most of those extra videos will be unboxings because I get the package and then I want to post it right away. Um, so look forward to that as well. So two to three videos a week. As for some new videos coming out, I have two reviews. A review of the new QIYI Dimensional 3x3 as well as the new Thunderclap. Following those, I have two new sticker mods as well as something that you haven't seen in a while, which is a comedy video. So those hopefully will come back and I have uh, what I think is a good idea. So hopefully you'll like that video. Then I'll also be starting up a new series, which for now will be the last new series because I just started another uh, new series and I hope you like that, YTUWR. If you didn't see that already, you can check that out with the link on the screen right now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that idea. Um, and so let me just make a few clarifications on that series so that there's no more confusion because there was a bit of confusion. Um, I did have scrambles in the video, specific scrambles for the uh, cubes. All you have to do if you submit a video entry is to show that you scrambled the puzzle with a randomly generated algorithm and then that's good enough for me. So it doesn't have to be the same scramble that I used. Um, whoever has the shortest time gets an unofficial world record and Somebody did suggest to for me to have like some sort of database that you can download so that it keeps all the the time somewhere so that I can update it whenever somebody breaks it. So I think that's a good idea. I might make like an Excel sheet that's downloadable or something along those lines. If you haven't noticed already, I don't think I've talked about it, I do have a new setup. So I decided to go out and buy a few triboards and stuff like that. I bought um I brought a lamp down to the area that I'm now recording. And so I hope you like that, the nice lighting and the white background. I did have a white background before, but this one is really white, not that other white color. And the other white color that I'm talking about was probably most likely due to the lamps that I was using before. And those lamps had yellow light and this new lamp has white light. So it, it goes well with the white background and hopefully should light up the area pretty well. Also coming is actually a remake of an old tutorial. Um, recently somebody commented on, on that old tutorial video, it, it wasn't that good, so I'm going to be remaking that video, it is the octagonal barrel tutorial, and um, so that will be coming out soon as well. I will be following the schedule, so at a pace of two videos a week, these all these videos will come out over a span of three or four weeks. One more thing I would like to talk about is the mic that I'm currently using, which is actually my phone. and. Um, you guys probably can tell that it is not good at all. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I will be getting a new mic soon. It is the Blue Snowball, and I will be getting an anti-pop filter with that. So the audio uh, in the next month or so should change to much better quality because as of right now, that is my main concern. My video quality um, will eventually become HD, but audio is my main focus at this point. So that's what's going on with that. Alright, so let's get into the averages. So for my 3x3 average, I got a 24.32, which is not very good at all for me. It's actually above my average, um, but I did get a sub-20 in there, so it worked out kind of well. As for my 2x2 average, I got a 7.68, which is around my average, so that's pretty decent, but it's not particularly good either. For Skube, I got a 14.61. Similarly to 3x3, that is a little bit above my average because I average around 13 normally. However, it, it wasn't that bad. On Pyraminx, I got a 9.66x average, which is actually very good for me because it's sub-10. Hopefully with the minimal practice I have, I can just get to sub-10 eventually. I was at sub-10 at one point in time, but since then I've lost interest in the puzzle and my times that suffered as a result of that, but I don't really mind. Anyway, that's about it for this Road to Sub-20. 
If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for me to improve my videos, you can leave them down below, and that would be much appreciated. Like, share this video, and follow me on social media in order to be awesome, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.